Hey guys, welcome back to Fluency Hacks and in today's video we are discussing the Hindi ha sound and we will be comparing it with the English sound. You heard it right, it's not ha in English, it's ha. Hi. Hi. That Amitabh Bachchan's famous ha sound. So let's first discuss how these two sounds differ from each other. The English is voiceless glottal fricative and the Hindi her as you can understand her is voiced glottal this is the glottal area glottal fricative so both the sounds are glottal fricative glottal ke ye vocal cord jo hota hai the uh, the two folds two folds hote yahan pe folds hote andar you know so it, it, it opens and closes like this very fast pace so these two sounds are generated by bringing the two vocal folds together and releasing the air with making friction it's a very light one in case of english uh, that's the reason it's a very breathy sound whereas the hindi her again the manner is similar is the same place of articulation but unlike english it's a voiced her sound it's so the two sounds which we just discussed are of similar origin the glottis is responsible for generating this sound when the air out of your lung passes through your vocal folds what actually happens is they come together and create the friction and which is why the two sounds are glottal fricatives the real challenge is how to create the switch and whilst speaking english use the sound instead of the ha sound again there is a simple way of developing these two sounds is understanding and then realizing and i would like you to create a list of these two sounds and practice so it's he and you might argue here that i said he there is a her here there is a reason for that the english glottal fricative is a kind of consonant that is hugely influenced by the consonant or the vowel it precedes and proceeds so when you say he i see there is a difference when i say he of hindi and he of english so that is something you have to consider you cannot say he you can't say he is coming here you cannot say he is coming here you have to say he is coming here but you can differentiate when i say with the hindi ha sound he is coming here so the difference between he and he is pretty much obvious and you will realize when you train your ear as well as your this organ so let's practice a few english words where the sound comes at the beginning and at the middle and it doesn't come at the end i'm like hindi hindi mein sab taraf aata hai initial middle and at the end so let's practice some english words with the sound he height hard 
health, hill. Now in the middle, behind, ahead, forehead, playhouse, behavior or behavior. The same words let's practice in the Hindi ha sound. Say he, height, hard, health, hill, behind, behind, ahead, forehead, playhouse, behavior. I hope you understood how the of English is, is coming different to your ear now. Now let's come to the Hindi ha sound. A, few, uh, a couple of words we are going to practice. Now this time when I'm reading Hindi words, I'll try to, you know, read them out in English phonology so that you understand exactly the point I'm trying to make. Hum. And if I was to say in English, hum. That's the difference. Hamara. Hamara. Hiran. Hiran. Hindi. 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 Himale. Himale. Bahas. Bahas, Rahasya, Rahasya, Kahani, Kahani, Mahan, Mahan, Jahaj, Jahaj, Sandeh. There is no ha ending in English, so still I'm trying. Sandeh, Hindi, Sandeh, <laughs> it won't happen. So there's no practice, you know, it won't happen because it's very difficult, you know, because there is no proceeding vowel and the English is completely voiceless fricative. So it just, it, what exactly is happening is it's not, you know, trying to exist in a standalone at the end of the word. Sandeh, Sandeh, won't happen. Bewajah, Bewajah, won't happen. Agra, Agra, Sola, Sola, Avro, Avro. So you see what exactly is happening? When I'm trying to generate this sound at the end, the whole, you know, idea of generating the sound is vanishing. It's not actually happening. So, let's recap. As you might have understood by now, that the English is glottal, voiceless, fricative. And the Hindi, ha, is again glottal, but voiced fricative that's all in this lesson i hope you enjoyed please create a few words list and practice at home as i have been reminding you in my other videos as well it's all about creating a search here and just realizing that there is a different sound which you will be using while speaking English and that is all you have to do not a big deal just a few you know sessions of practice and the realization what will happen you will start gradually you know switching from her to while speaking English I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you don't forget to subscribe and if you have any question, please write them down in the comment section of the video. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.